What is going on guys, it's Drakesy and just a quick one before today's video does start, be sure to subscribe to the channel because when we reach a thousand subscribers we're going to be doing a giveaway on the channel. The giveaway is going to be for a gift card, whether that be on Microsoft or Sony, the gift card will depend on the platform that you're on. So if you do want a chance to enter this competition, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. What is going on guys, my name is Drakesy and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today's video is going to be another FIFA 18 squad builder, a best possible squad builder as well and that is actually going to be a best possible Argentina squad builder. Now the formation that we're using for this I believe is the 4-2-3-1 formation so as we can see there are no wingers in this team, um, the two CDMs, three centre attacking mids because obviously if you've not noticed, Argentina have a lot of good attackers, but we'll see that when we start getting into building the team, but for now, we're going to start off with the goalkeeper. So starting in between the sticks for this team is going to be Ruli, I believe is how you would say this guy's name, and as we can see, he's an Argentinian goalkeeper, 83 rated, playing for Real Sociedad, and he's got some fantastic stats on his card overall, 85 diving, 86 reflexes, and 82 positioning being the highest ones, but his handling and kicking are not too bad either. Moving across from him up to the left back position, we have the 79 rated rare goal card of Taglia Fico, is it? Taglia Fico, I think is how you would say this guy's name. He's playing for a team that I don't know the name of. I've, I've seen the crest, I think they're actually in the Argentinian league, if I'm correct. Uh, but once again, still not too sure on that. But this guy's got some good stats on his card as well. Decent skills, decent, well, not very good weak foot, but decent skills anyway for a left back. He's got 88 pace, 76 dribbling, 78 defending and 72 physical as his highest stats. But yeah, a pretty solid guy in there starting the team off at left back. Moving across to one of his partners in the defence and that's going to be Mustachio. I think is how you say this guy's name, Mustachio. Mustachio. Um, it's a bit ironic that he kind of has a moustache as well, but getting away from that as we can see, he's an 83 rated rare gold card. Recently transferred, I believe, to AC Milan, one of their brand new acquisitions. He's got two star skill moves, three star weak foot, 70 pace isn't too bad for a guy of this guy's quality. I'd love to see his card if he gets an inform this year. Um, potentially even a team of the season but he's got 84 defense and 78 physical so at the moment his card isn't the best but I'm sure with an inform or two this card could be a very good card in FIFA. Now moving across from him we go up to Otamendi and as we can see Otamendi yet another 83 rated rare gold centre back card for Argentina. I kind of forgot he was still playing for Man City I don't know whether he gets many games anymore. Um, I think he made a few errors at the back, so I'm not too sure whether he gets that many games. But as we can see, two-star skill moves, three-star weak foot, the regular for a defender, I would say. His pace isn't the best at 63, but he has got decent physical and defence at 83 defending and 81 physical. So he's got high, high work rates as well, which is kind of interesting for a centre-back. But still, he is the highest rated at the moment of recording this video. And now we move up to this guy to wrap up the defence and as we can see it is Zanetti. Now Zanetti this is his highest rated icon card this year. The 92 rated right back icon card is just incredible. 2 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot and as we can see he's got 86 pace, 85 dribbling, 90 defending, 88 passing and 81 physical. What a card that is. Honestly you could probably play that card at any position on the pitch and it would do good for you. Um, a, a 60 to 63 shooting probably not the best if you're going to put him at striker but he could definitely ply his trade as a right winger or other winger down the right hand side so a very solid card and another player with high high work rates as well. So moving up from these two we now go up to Pastore and as we can see Pastore this year is an 83 rated rare gold card. I believe he does come out of packs as a centre mid so you will have to convert him to a centre defensive mid if I am correct. But as we can see, he's playing for Paris Saint-Germain this year still. 4-star skill moves, 4-star weak foot, 71 pace, 85 dribbling, 75 shooting. Um, and then as we can see, 83 passing. And then his physical isn't the best at 64, but all round a solid centre mid card. And in this team, he's kind of what you need. A decent player with good dribbling, decent pace, a bit of shooting on him, seeing as though he's a setback player. Uh, but he's got fantastic passing as well on his card. 
So moving across from Pastore to the other centre defensive mid and we have Biglia, the second player in this team from AC Milan, getting a strong link with the defender Mustachio as we can see. Another 83 rated player Biglia is, uh, he's a rare gold card, I believe he does actually come out of packs as a CDM but I may be incorrect on that one. Um, but as we can see, he has got 3 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, 69 pace, not the best, but he has definitely got some solid stats in 80 dribbling, 75 defending, 75 physical and 81 passing. Perfect kind of player to be getting into this team and another decent player in this team overall. Now we move up to the centre attacking mid. Now this guy could be, if not is, the best centre attacking mid in the game at the moment. This is Messi's inform card. It's recently just come out as of making this video. And if you're watching this and you're wondering why is there not many high rated cards, this is the beginning of FIFA. So the later on in FIFA, we will revisit this team and see what it looks like when all the team of the seasons are out. But for now, these are the highest rated cards we have for the team. But as we can see, this inform card does come out as a centre forward. So you will have to convert it to a centre attacking mid. But he's got 94 as an overall rating, 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, 90 pace, 97 dribbling, 92 shooting and 88 passing. Physical not the best but still an absolutely incredible card going in at centre attacking mid. The next centre attacking mid into the team is actually going to be Hernan Crespo. This is his highest rated 90 rated icon card in FIFA. Um, he does actually come out of packs as a striker so for this team you will have to convert him to a centre attacking mid. But he has 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, 89 pace, 89 dribbling, 90 shooting, 72 passing and 73 physical as well. So. An incredible card overall guys, you can't be asking for much more from an attacking player and I'm sure he would absolutely rip any defence apart on that right wing position. But as if the team wasn't good enough already, we move up to the last centre attacking mid in the team and that's going to be Maradona icon card. Just look at this card guys, 97 rated icon card, centre attacking mid, you can't be asking for much more from this. 5 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, let's look at some of the stats, 92 pace, 97 dribbling, 93 shooting, 92 passing and then 76 physical is fantastic for him. He was only a small guy when he used to play as well so he'll have that low centre of gravity which makes players fantastic on FIFA each year. But as we can see, Maradona looks like he's got an absolutely out of this world card this year but still he's not the last player into the team so we'll move up to him to wrap up the team and that's going to be the striker Sergio Aguero so as I did say not all the cards are out at the moment if you're watching this in the future and there are better cards out I will revisit this team at the end of FIFA but for now as of building Sergio Aguero is the highest rated striker we can get into the team and looking at Sergio Aguero's card he's a 90 rated in form card playing for Man City he's got four star skill moves four star weak foot 88 pace 90 dribbling, 90 shooting, 77 passing and 74 physical. What a team this is guys, honestly it's absolutely incredible. The further up you get, there's, you get stronger and stronger. There's a ton of players that didn't manage to make it into this team. Players like Dybala, players like Higuain. There's tons and tons of players I'm sure that you guys are recognising aren't in the team. Uh, Di Maria as well as another one. Um, so yeah, none of them managed to make it in because I was going for the highest rated. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this squad builder. It's an absolutely incredible team. Probably the best one I've done as of yet. But thank you very much for watching. I've been Drake's here. I'll see you again soon. And see you in a bit guys.